Good morning, brothers and sisters. Let us now all stand for our devotional prayers before the Mass. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done to me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, o Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ, thy Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Daily Offering O Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary and the Father's Heart of Joseph, I offer you my prayers, works, joys, and sufferings of this day in union with the holy sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world. I offer them for the intentions of your Sacred Heart, salvation of souls, reparation for sins, reunion of all Christians. I offer them for the intentions of our bishops, priests, and all apostles of prayer, and most especially for the intentions of the Pope for this month. We pray the World Youth Day in Lisbon will help young people to live and witness the gospel in their own lives. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Welcome to our Eucharistic celebration. Today is Wednesday, and our Mass presider is Father Mani Flores. Good morning. Good morning. Let us greet our sleepy neighbors a very magandang good morning with our best smile. We offer this Mass for those who celebrate the birthdays today, for those who are celebrating the wedding anniversaries, for those who are offering Thanksgiving and other special intentions, for those who Pray for good health and safety for the sick, for the speedy recovery and complete healing. For our beloved departed, to be specially offer and remember in this Mass. For those who ask for our prayers and those who we promise to pray for. For your own most important personal and family intentions. For the people of Ukraine, Russia, and our own suffering people. Let us begin in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, the joy of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Coming before the Lord, let us pause to acknowledge and sinfulness and unworthiness. Loving Father, you have given us the gift of religion, the Catholic faith, a school of love. And yet, Father, we have not allowed ourselves to grow in the faith. We have not allowed ourselves to 
fulfill our mission and purpose in life to love. Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy. Christ of mercy. Christ of mercy. Lord of mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and ever living God, whom taught by the Holy Spirit, we dare to call our Father. Bring, we pray, to perfection in our hearts the spirit of adoption as your sons and daughters, that we may merit to enter into the inheritance which you have promised. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. <clears throat> Moses went up from the plains of Moab to Mount Nebo, the headland of Pisgah, which faces Jericho. And the Lord showed him all the land, Gilead, and as far as Dan, all Naphtali, the land of Ephraim and Manasseh all the land of Judah as far as the Western Sea, the Negev, the circuit of the Jordan, with the lowlands at Jericho, city of palms, and as far as Zoar. The Lord then said to him, This is the land which I swore to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, that I would give to their descendants, I have let you feast your eyes upon it, but you shall not cross over. So there in the land of Moab, Moses, the servant of the Lord, died as the Lord had said, and he was buried in the ravine opposite Beth Peor in the land of Moab. But to this day, no one knows the place of his burial. Moses was 120 years old when he died, yet his eyes were undimmed and his vigor unabated. For 30 days, the children of Israel wept for Moses in the plains of Moab till they had completed the period of grief and mourning for Moses. Now, Joshua son of Nun, was filled with the spirit of wisdom, since Moses had laid his hands upon him. And so the children of Israel gave him their obedience, thus carrying out the Lord's command to Moses. Since then, no prophet has arisen in Israel like Moses, whom the Lord knew face to face. He had no equal in all the signs and wonders the Lord sent him to perform in the land of Egypt against Pharaoh and all his servants and against all his land. And for the might and the terrifying power that Moses exhibited in the sight of all Israel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed be God who filled my soul with fire. Blessed be God who filled my soul with fire. Shout joyfully to God all the earth. Sing praise to the glory of his name. Proclaim his glorious praise. Say to God, how tremendous are your deeds. Blessed be God who filled my soul with fire. Come and see the works of God, his tremendous deeds among the children of Adam. Bless our God, you peoples, loudly sound his praise. Blessed be God who filled my soul with fire. Hear now, 
all you fear God while I declare what he has done for me. When I appealed to him in words, praise was on the tip of my tongue. Blessed be God who filled my soul with fire. Please all stand to honor the Holy Gospel. Alleluia, alleluia, all together. God was reconciling the world to himself in Christ and entrusting to us the message of reconciliation. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let's open our hearts and minds to listen to the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, If your brother sins against you, go out and tell him the, his fault between you and him alone. If he listens to you, you have won over your brother. If he does not listen, Take one or two others along with you, so that every fact may be established on the testimony of two or three witnesses. If he refuses to listen to them, tell the church. If he refuses to listen even to the church, then treat him as you would a Gentile or tax collector. Amen, I say to you, whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatever you lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Again, amen, I say to you, if two of you agree on earth about anything for which they are to pray, it shall be granted to them by my heavenly Father. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, there I am in the midst. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I'd like to reflect with you on the first reading about the, the death of Moses and even more specifically uh, why he died without being able to enter the promised land. No? Uh, because undisputedly, um, it says here, We are told about the greatness of Moses. Uh, it says here, Since then, no prophet has arisen in Israel like Moses, whom the Lord knew face to face. He had no equal in all the signs and wonders. No equal. Um, the Lord had sent him to perform the land of Egypt against Pharaoh and all his servants and against all his land for the might and terrifying power that Moses had exhibited in the sight of Israel. Walang uh, kapantay. That's why even when Jesus is transfigured, beside him are Moses and Elijah. Hindi Elijah and Moses. Moses is the greatest. So, and um, if um, there are even leadership seminars using using him no? because uh, I, I have used it myself. The Ten Commandments of Leadership, uh, according to Moses, no no greater prophet. However, siguro let's focus on why he was not able to enter the Promised Land. It it pins it spin down. Or, um, it comes from one incident in his life, just one. Uh, um, um, a moment of anger. Uh, um, the, the incident is this: uh, we the in Numbers twenty the. 
the, the Israelites and Moses are traveling in the desert and they, they want water. And they don't just ask for water. The, the Israelites blame Moses um, if you go to Numbers 20. No? Why did you have to bring us into this land? There is no water. Why did we have to leave Egypt when we had our f flesh pots there, meat? We ate well. And you had to bring us to this miserable place. And now we are, you, you are allowing us to die of hunger, no? of, of thirst. Blaming, 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 blaming. Napunun. And so, um, the Moses um, and Aaron come before the Lord, bow to the, bow to the ground and tell them what's happening. And the Lord tells them, okay, you go to the rock. This is at Meribah. No? Um, at Meribah, uh, the, the waters, there is water but bitter. Hindi mo mainom. So, and uh, God tells them, you speak to the rock. You speak to the rock. You bless the rock. And the rock will yield for you water. What does Moses do? He goes to the rock and with his staff, he, he tells, he tells um, the, uh, he, he shouts at the Israelites, you rebels, they were rebelling against the Lord. You rebels, shall we, shall we give you water? And then, Two times, not, he does not speak to the rock. Two times he strikes the rock with his staff and water gushes forth. After that, immediately the Lord tells him, because you have not preserved my holiness, you shall not enter into the promised land. One incident. No? Um, one incident. Uh, what does that tell us, especially me? No? Uh, tayo na mga may temper. Sino rito yung may temper? Pumuputok, napupuno. In, no? Sino rito? No? That, that has been my weakness. For example, when, ano, no? um, when, I, when I was young. And of benefit, because you get results. Pag inano mo na yung tao, nasindak na, gumagalaw. No? So, um, rem remember, I've, I've learned my lessons. So, um, because of that, Moses is not able to enter the promised land. No? So, certainly, the Lord forgives him, pero the... It, uh, the problems of, the, are, of today are created by the decisions of yesterday. And your decisions today create the problems of tomorrow. So, kaya nga, uh, there's a Chinese saying, um, there's a Chinese saying, uh, a moment of anger can cause a lifetime of unhappiness. Huh? You know, there, there, there are uh, moments when we can make the wrong decision which can affect us for life. Huh? So, ngayon, yes. Um, and if this happens to the great Moses, um, he can do something he will regret later on. Uh, it can happen to us, lesser, lesser mortals, no? So let's pray to the Lord, especially to our Blessed Mother, to give us the gift of self-control, wisdom. Um, especially as a speech, no? um, especially in our speech, 
we can say something that will have a life, will have consequences for a lifetime. No? Uh, it's not enough to say, mabutid tao naman ako eh. Yes! But even ikaw na mabutid tao, we can do something that we will regret for the rest of our lives. No? Let us now rise and uh, pray together our novena to the, our Mother of Perpetual Help. O Mother of Perpetual Help, grant and that I may ever invoke, invoke your powerful, powerful name, name, the protection of the living, living and, and the salvation of the dying. dying. Purest Mary, Mary, let your name, let your henceforth, name henceforth be ever, be ever on my lips. Delay not, blessed lady, to rescue me whenever I call on you. In my temptations, in my needs, I will never cease to call on you. Ever repeating your sacred name, Mary, Mary. Mary. What a consolation, what sweetness, what confidence fills my soul when I utter your sacred name or even only think of you. I thank the Lord for having given you so sweet, so powerful, so lovely a name. But, but I will, I will not, not be content, content with merely uttering, uttering your name. name. Let my, my love, love for you prompt, prompt me ever, ever to hail you, Mother, Mother of Perpetual Help. Mother of Perpetual Help, pray, pray for, for me and grant me the favor I confidently ask of you. All these we ask. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Father, God of all creation, to give us this bread to offer, which should have given him in hands of babe. This will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Father, God of all creation, to your goodness with this wine to offer, food the vine, with human hands. This will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please all stand. Pray, friends, that these are gifts may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Loving Father, together with these gifts of bread and wine, we offer you ourselves so that by your Holy Spirit, you may give us wisdom and the light to see, to make good decisions, especially the gift of self-control. Father, this offering of our gifts and of ourselves we make to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your lift spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for your praise in the company of your saints, especially Saint Rock, and in crowning the merits, you crown your own gifts. By their way of life, you, you offer us an example. By communion with them, you give us companionship. By their intercession, sure support, so that they encouraged by so great a cloud of witnesses, who may run as victors in the race before us and win with them the imperishable crown of glory through Christ the Lord. And so with the angels and the archangels and with the great multitude of the saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. 
Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Sana in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy the four of these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took the bread and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for men for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. Before us, during the tire of the body and blood of Jesus, this is the mystery of our faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, O Father, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partake of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, especially your Russia, Ukraine, and our own suffering people. Bring us to the fullness of charity, together Francis our Pope, <coughs> Jose our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of their resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy especially our beloved departed, whose names we bring to you now on this altar. Welcome them into the light of your face, of mercy in us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and Joseph, a faithful spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints, especially Saint Rock, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor draws Almighty Father forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> Let us now pray to the Father that he may deliver us from the evil of making decisions or saying words that we will regret forever. And so oh. we pray, our Father, who art, who art in heaven, in heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy, thy name, name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy, thy will be done on earth, earth as it is in heaven. In heaven. Give, Give us this day our, day our daily bread, bread. Forgive and forgive us our trespasses, our trespasses as, as we forgive those who trespass, trespass against, against us. And, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Father, from every evil and graciously grant us peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress. As we may await the blessed hope and the coming of a Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, especially our carelessness with our words that we speak to our families, children, and spouses even. But look, at the, look not, uh, but look at the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. 
who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord Jesus be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now bless one another with Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. This Jesus who calls us to learn from him, who is gentle and humble of heart. Happy are we who shall receive Jesus. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. We have just received Jesus truly present within us. Let's speak to him heart to heart. We might include also forgiving people who have hurt us in the past by their words and also asking forgiveness for how we have hurt people, wounded them very deeply by words and actions in the past. Please all stand. Let us pray. Father, as we end our celebration, we thank you for your word that warns us through the example of Moses of the consequences of our decisions and words today that create regret, that decisions that we will regret in the future. Father, by your Holy Spirit, by the Eucharist we receive. May this, this make us gentle and humble of heart like Christ. Our grateful hearts we offer you through Christ the Lord. 
Amen. We now pray our novena prayer to Mary the Queen. Mary, Mary Immaculate. Mary Immaculate, we venerate you as our mother and queen. Your son, Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ, led you to a throne, throne of glory, glory in heaven, heaven next, next to his, to his own. own. Please, Please pray, pray for us, your children, children, and give us the grace won by our loving Savior, Savior on the cross. Mary, Mary our Queen, Queen, may your glorious beauty fill our hearts with an ardent longing for the joys of heaven. heaven. Amen. Amen. Glory be to, to the, the Father, Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as it was in the beginnings, be now and ever shall Amen. be, world without end. Amen. We pause so you may offer your most important favor that you ask of our mother during this novena. The Lord be with you. And with Bow your Bow your heads spirit. to pray for God's blessing in the coming days indeed. But may the Spirit, may the Holy Spirit give you the gift of wisdom and self-control. And may Almighty God bless you and your loved ones and families, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. A Eucharist has been offered. Let us go forth to live the Eucharist. Thanks be to God. I will hear confessions on the side after the Mass. <laughs> 